Hello, and thank you for joining me today on Krista So Crafty. My name is Krista. Today I'm going to show you how to make some fabric flowers. These are very fun and easy little things to do. I had used them once before on a pin cushion a few years back. I'll put a link to the video up here. To make these fabric flowers, you will need five circles of fabric. Now, these ones here that I'm using are three and three quarter inches wide. Now, these can be made in any size. You just have to change the size of the circle. But for this one, I'm going to use three and three quarter inch circles. I'm going to use a button that's about a three quarters of an inch to an inch big and two pieces of felt that are one and a half inches each. And so what you do with the circle is you take it and you fold it in half and fold it half again so you come across this pie looking shape. Once you do that, you take a needle and a thread, take a fairly long thread because we're going to put all of these petals onto the thread. So you take your needle and thread and tie a knot in the thread. Then you're going to take your needle and start weaving it in and out through the raw edge of the fabric. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to put all of these together and we're going to give them a slight little tug and it's going to pull them together and then we can make them into flower petals. I mean, because you're not using a sewing machine or anything like that, anybody can actually really make these because as long as you can operate a, a needle and thread, you can do this craft. So because these are fabric flowers, of course, the uh, possibilities are endless as to which materials you want to use for your flower petals. Now, you can have them solid colors, you can have them patterned like I have here. Again, the possibilities are endless. So just continue on with your needle and thread. And when you're doing your weaving with your needle, you don't want real big spaces. So I went probably an eighth of an inch apart, maybe, well, maybe a quarter of an inch apart, just so that it had enough that it's going to gather them all together. And the other thing is, is when you're starting, you want to start on the same side. So I, you'll notice how I just flip that over there. I always start on the double fold side where the double fold is, and I end on the single fold side. And I also start on the top and end on the top. I want my threads to all be on the same side where I'm starting and stopping. I hope that makes sense. Again, fold it over, fold it in half, and put your double fold down, and that's where you start and with your needle. And before you know it, you're all done. It doesn't take long at all. This is a quick little craft. You do need a hot glue gun as well because we're going to glue on the black felt pieces. Now that we have all of the petals onto the thread, you're just going to gently pull and kind of gather them all together. You don't want to pull too hard or you have the possibility of breaking that thread. Now you could use like an embroidery thread or even a fishing line, but I, I just use a double thread and it's fine because you don't need to pull them extremely tight. You just need to pull them together. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that thread and you're going to tie them together so that you have a circle of petals. And I try to get them as snug as I can, again, without breaking the thread. And then just tie some knots in there. Now, this is where I've always said it'd be nice to have a third hand because, you know, you're pulling on two ends of the string and then well, who's going to put the finger on the knot, right? Anyways, so get that as tight as you can and yeah, do your best. Once you have all the knots in there, and I do probably about three, four or five, depending on how I'm feeling that day, but you want to make enough knots in there that it's not going to come loose. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to float the little petals and just to make sure that they're all kind of um, folded over up the same way. And then I'm going to take that needle with the thread and I'm just going to kind of crisscross over that center section and what that's going to do is it's just going to kind of pull it together because when you are doing this there, there's so much material in the center that you can't always pull it snug so that there's no hole in the center so I'm just going to use that thread and the needle and I'm just going to go back and forth try to make that hole a little smaller and pull those petals together a little bit more once you have that all done, then you can secure that thread with some knots and cut it off. We've reached a point now where we can start adding on the black center pieces and the buttons and stuff. The next step is to take and sew the button onto the one of the black circles. 
What this does is it, it ensures that the button is sewn on, but it also allows you to then hot glue the black part onto the flower and not have to try to sew through all that hot glue. I like to secure the thread on the back with a knot. It's not even relevant because you're going to hot glue it down anyways, but that's what I like to do. So I just go back and forth probably three, four or five times, just enough to make it, you know, look like the button's actually sewn on. And then now we can tie a knot and then we can take this over to our hot glue and start putting this together. Once I've secured the knot on the back, I'm going to take this and I'm going to take it over to my hot glue gun and glue this down. Now, I did not use a template to cut out the circle, so I'm just taking my scissors and trimming that up so it looks nice and neat. And now I'm going to use my hot glue gun and I'm going to just hot glue this down. And I do like to have my petals so that they're kind of flipped up, as you can see. And you just kind of put your thumb in the center of those petals and kind of push down and it pops them up and around. So just put your hot glue on and then push this right down in the center and you're getting very close to being done. Now with these flowers, they can be used for so many different things. You can put them onto tote bags, you can put them onto purses, you can put them onto various types of, you know, brats or ponies or, you know, if you're making a, like a wine bag for somebody as a gift, you can make flowers like this and put them on there. Actually, I have a video coming out in, I think it's next week that's coming out, so keep your eyes open for that because I will be using one of these type of flowers on that, that wine bag. And there you have it. You have a fabric flower. It's so pretty. Have fun making these and use them on so many different projects. At this point, I thought I would show you how I use these on elastics and on these little clips. Very, very easy to do. You just need hot glue. And I just used like another little tiny strip of felt to help, you know, hold them in place and kind of hide all that hot glue. So I just cut a little tiny strip to be able to go across and doing the elastic is so easy. So with this little piece of felt, you don't want it wider than the circle. So I just trim it back a little bit until it's that width. Then you're just gonna take and put some hot glue on the back of the circle. And I like to put that little join piece on the elastic down in where the hot glue is. And I'm gonna hold that in place till it sets a bit, put a little glue on that little strip that we cut out and just lay that across and that's that's it that's all it takes to adding a elastics to these little flowers and you could make so many can you see these on your little girls i think it would be so cute or you can use them on like wristbands or so many different uses so with the backing for the little clip it's it's similar process just a little bit different because you want to put that felt in between the where the um barrette closes because you don't want to obviously close it up entirely. So I'm just going to trim another little piece of felt and get that all ready to go. And then I'm going to ensure that this is going to work, make sure that it's going to fit and trim it back, do whatever you need to do, but get it so that it'll fit on that little piece. Go ahead and apply the hot glue to the back part of the barrette. Make sure you have the back part and put that hot glue on there and then you can just press it in place and then your little brat is all done, ready to go. So I wanted to make sure that the flat part, the wider part of the brat is attached to the flower and the skinnier piece, which goes into your hair, is on the outside. So as you can see, I have it that way and then I'm just pressing it in place, making sure it is all good and, and attached. And there you have it, some really cute little flowers that you can make from fabric and you can use them on so many different things. This is just a couple ways that I thought I would show you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel and click on that little bell to receive notification every time I upload a new video. Thank you again for joining me and happy crafting.